everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivor and Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button. Remember to share to all your friends guys. Sharing is caring. And for today guys, Sheffield United 2, Manchester United 3, 3 points in the bag, sitting 6th right now in the Premier League. Things are looking slightly a little bit better than before than what it was previously but now everyone can look at the table and think mm, we're doing okay we're doing okay but today guys and let's not let the blood rush straight into our brains guys even though we've won we are sitting six yes we can be happy and positive but still there were things that you saw today as well that you could criticize but you can't just be negative all the time you just have to be happy that we've won beat Sheffield United, the scumbag of the Premier League, the team with only one point. And can you believe we conceded two goals against them? Bottom of the league. And we conceded two goals against them. Can you imagine? Defensively, we were shocking, poor, poor, rubbish shot. Where was we in the first half? No, seriously, where was we in the first half? Because those first couple of seconds, Henderson, Dean Henderson. Can you imagine? My guy, he was going to start against the club that he's been playing against. And today, he thought, yeah, all right, cool, Oli, you've done your thing. Bring him on, you know, give him his opportunity. Guess what, guys? He makes an error. Oh, and you couldn't even tell a story about this. He made an error, guys. An error that cost us. We conceded a goal due to Dean Henderson's stupid mere moment. Being closed down by who I believe was David Matizes, a.k.a. McGoldbridge. Annoying with that bald-headed. Matizes head all the time. He was just teasing us. In the first couple of minutes, being involved with David Mortiza, he pissed me off. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, Victor Vindelov straight pass to Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford with a crescent beautiful touch, mashing it in. Prah! Poof, oof, 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 oof. What a goal! What a goal! Marcus Rashford today, boom, he done his thing. He done his thing, guys. Now, oh, pull. Pogba, oh, passing it to Anthony Martial. Martial scoring a delight goal. First touch, lovely. Second touch, dink into the back of the net. Beautiful finish by Anthony Martial. Scoring for a very long time. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, he needed it. Anthony Martial scores again. Don't know. Poor Labile Pogba in the second half. And poor Labile Pogba in that second half. Bruv, bruv, where do you come from sometimes? Inconsistent sometimes. But today, poor Labile Pogba was different gravies. Sometimes watching poor Pogba, it's like, ooh, ah. No, 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 no. Did you, did you see that? Did you see that? Ah, Pogba, Labile. Ooh, that touch. It gets like that sometimes. I'm telling you, today was like that. Different gravy today. That pass. That ball, that control, that oof, went past the man like, get out of the way, smooth bitch, get out the way, get out the way, bitch, get out the way. David Mortizes, you never saw him come in because he was nowhere to be seen during that time. Paul Pablo passing the ball down to Bruno Fernandez, and Bruno Fernandez touching it. One, two, you, at the end of the day, you saw Greenwood on the floor, he got clapped, but Marcus Rashford finishing that goal. Beautiful, making it 3-1. What a beautiful team effort goal. And guys, we do not score team efforts. For us to score that goal, beautiful. I loved it. You guys loved it. I know you did. You guys gotta love it. I know I did. I know you did. Beautiful goal. Beautiful third goal. And then what spoiled it for us? David Matizas again. Dickhead. Tease my, tease my, tease my, tease my, baby. When I lose, cut you and your bold headed scoring a goal with your Mortizas head, bro. But anyway, I have to big up to David Mortizas. He done his thing today, man. He was a pest. He was a pest today. But he done his thing. You can't say anything about David Mortizas. He done his thing. He could have been my man in the match if I was a Sheffield United fan. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm a Manchester United fan. Guys, beautiful win. Beautiful, beautiful win. Apart from that, even though we won 3-2, Performance as well, especially in the second half, the attacking plays, you know, individual brilliance, we did well. But overall, defensively, we were shit. So yeah, Oli, you get into the training ground, get working on defensive shapes because boy, you need to put those boys 
into position because defensively you as well are suspect you are suspect and i ask questions if the team are defending like this it's because of what they're learning in the training pitch and that's on you big man that's on you man of the match today guys definitely has to go to my boy marcus rashford you know two goals what can you say guys two goals did well sometimes you know he does annoy me he did piss me off because sometimes watching marcus rashford is like Ugh. And then what's it called? Watching Mark reference was like, come on, Rashford, you don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But my don't give the match has to go to Dean Henderson. Dean Henderson, bruh, bruh, bruh. That mistake is the reason why you are the don't give the match. But apart from that, you did all right. You did all right. But then again, the second goal that we conceded, I saw you with the ball in the back of the net. For that, definitely you're a don't give the match. You shouldn't be in the back. You shouldn't even be in the goal with the back of the net like that with the ball. Like, what the hell was you doing there? My Manchester United fans, today, again, watching Manchester United, I swear to God, it is heart attack galore. I'm telling you guys, watching Manchester United can leave you like this at the start of the match. As soon as we can see you be like this. You're numb, the left hand's numb, everything gone. And then at the end of the match, you're like this. That wasn't... That wasn't, that wasn't bad. I don't, I don't know why I had a lot of attack right there. But yeah, guys, it is frustrating, fans, and it is not that great. It's not good for our heart. It's not good for our health. It's just not good for our mental health as well. Everything, it's not good. It is definitely not good watching Manchester United play, but at the same time, it's got a bittersweet ending. But guys, yeah, we won. Happy about that. Yeah, we're happy for the three points. A bit happy about the performance, but you know. You know what it is guys and guys it must be lovely it be fun remember to smash that like button subscribe to this channel if you're new as well remember to share as well to your friends remember to follow the social as well remember to follow the official instagram account of red united which is red united tv one baby and if you want to follow me in my personal instagram account which is i've worn underscore spice same for the twitter and same for the snapchat guys and remember guys remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united I'm out. Peace.